Okay folks, another little clip. Introduction to propeller aerodynamics. This is where things get uh, a bit more complex. Um, propeller aerodynamics is a, a quite complex topic, um, but the nice thing is that is that the very simplest propeller um, design theory um, actually allow uh, is, is really quite straightforward. We use two-dimensional aerodynamics only. So um, first of all, we have to understand uh, for a propeller uh, what is actually happening at the propeller blade disc. We've got the flight speed, which is the air, the, the, well, the flight speed obviously um, of the aircraft. So if we hold the propeller stationary, then the flight speed is then equivalent to the far upstream speed moving towards the propeller disc. Now, that is not the same as the flight, as, as the airspeed at the propeller disc. There's a difference there. What happens is that the propeller, as it rotates, it induces airflow into it. So, the speed at the propeller disc is actually slightly higher than the speed far upstream. So that concept is extremely important to grasp. There's also the flow behind the propeller disc. Um, as the flow accelerates toward the propeller, the pressure drops. We can use uh, Bernoulli equation for this. Uh, the flow accelerates, it speeds up slightly, so the pressure drops. So there's then a, 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 a very strong, a very large pressure jump across the propeller disc. The pressure behind the propeller is higher than the, than the pressure in front. So the safest place to stand anywhere near a propeller is going to be behind it, because if something happens, it's going to move forwards. Um, anyway, so behind the propeller, the flow continues to accelerate as the, and the pressure drops towards ambient pressure far downstream. So we've got ambient pressure far upstream uh, at the flight speed, flow accelerates, pressure falls. At the disc we've got a, low, a relatively low pressure but a higher speed. Behind the disc we've got a pressure jump, high pressure, flow continues to accelerate but the pressure relaxes back to ambient pressure far downstream. That is critical for propeller aerodynamics, what actually happens at the propeller disc. So what we have at the propeller disc is something we call inflow. Um, the inflow velocity is literally the, the speed of the flow going into the propeller disc at the propeller disc. We assume uh, that that inflow velocity is uniform across the disc. In, for real life, it's for real propellers operating in realistic conditions, that is not the case. But we want a simple theory that accounts for this inflow. So we've got this inflow at the propeller disc. So our introduction to propeller blade aerodynamics or propeller aerodynamics has to consider this inflow at the disc. Okay?